Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins in jail in 2003. Donald Fitzroy, a CIA recruiter, pays Court Gentry, a convicted murderer, a visit. Fitzroy extends Gentry an employment offer after reviewing his files and background information. Gentry is now working as an assassin for the CIA, under the codename Sierra 6, and has been in Bangkok for 18 years. He has been ordered to eliminate a dining cart target. Danny Miranda, a fellow assassin, is helping him while Denny Carmichael and Susan Brewer, his bosses, are keeping an eye on him. When a kid appears, Six holds back before killing the target. When the fireworks go off outside, Six deviates from the plan and chases the dining cart. Before Six pursues the dining cart, he and Miranda then eliminate the man's assailants. After his scuffle, Six stabs dining cart to death, but as he passes away, he says that he is Sierra Four and that Carmichael sent Six to kill one of his men. Six receives a necklace from Four that has a chip with information that might bring down Carmichael and his allies. After speaking with Six, Carmichael learns that he hasn't taken anything from Four. Six then dons civilian clothing before attempting to go onto a computer to view what is on the chip, but he is missing a code to do so. Six then makes contact with Fitzroy and Baku to let him know that he believes Carmichael is a nasty guy. Fitzroy promises to look into it as much as he can. Despite Brewer's objections due to Lloyd Hansen's reputation as a sociopath, Carmichael uses the assistance of a former CIA agent to contact Six before his crimes are revealed since he believes Six knows the truth about him. Hansen receives a call from Carmichael as he is torturing a man with electric cords in Monaco. It can be seen in the scene following that Hansen is more than willing to pursue Six. When he encounters Fitzroy at a funeral, he asks him about Six but receives no response. Hansen then uses the kidnapping of Fitzroy's niece Claire as leverage. In Chiang Mai, Six is being carried by an extraction team when Fitzroy calls the commander and orders them to silently remove Six. Six is one step ahead of them though and starts to battle and eliminate the squad before setting off the bomb that crashes the plane. He speaks with Fitzroy, who informs him that Claire is with Hansen. A flashback sees Six and Fitzroy meeting Sierra handler Margaret Cahill two years prior in London. Six is given the responsibility of watching over Claire, who has a heart issue because Fitzroy needs to go on a mission as his address was leaked. Six and Claire develop a bond and Six even gets Claire medical help when she faints. Afterward, it can be seen that B before Claire gets out of bed to investigate what is happening as different sounds can be heard from the living area, Six kills all the assassins who break into Fitzroy's home at night. Six then travels to Vienna to meet with his contact, Lazlo Sosa, in the present. Sosa betrays Six by dropping him down a trap door so that he may go get the reward on his head, while Six asks for his assistance in getting a new pseudonym so he can go rescue Claire. When Six demands money, Hansen and his thugs arrive to collect him, but Hansen tries to kill Six instead. As Six pours water into the pit, he puts up a trap, which causes an explosion that kills Hansen's men. Before engaging in a brief battle with Hansen, Six breaks out and kills the other goons. Six is saved by Miranda after she knocks Hansen out in the butt before Hansen can kill him. Miranda is upset with Six because, following the Bangkok assignment, Carmichael has already questioned her. She morphs him as well and places him in a trunk. Next, Fitzroy is brought back to Claire, who is being held captive at a mansion after Hansen returns to Croatia. Brewer chastises Hansen for his actions while his squad is also present. Hansen tortures Fitzroy by tearing off his fingernails in exchange for information on Six after having his goods take Claire away, but Fitzroy is unmoved. Now that Cahill is retired, Six and Miranda visit her there. She tells them that Six gave her access to the information on the chip, which details all of Carmichael's illicit business dealings and abuse of authority. More assassins are sent after Hansen's men locate them there. On the other hand, Cahill provides Six and Miranda a chance to flee after some firing. Cahill blows up her flat as she and the bad guys are inside after the assassins get close to her. As their pursuers are dispatched, Six and Miranda are chased around the city, resulting in additional gunshots, stabbings, and explosions. Hansen is now forced to send Lone Wolf, his assassin, when all of his teams are killed. Six locates Claire using a signal from her pacemaker while Six and Miranda visit a hospital. When Lone Wolf tackles them, a 2 on one melee results. Before attacking the officers himself, Wolf tries to use the cops to turn Six against him. While Six attends to his injuries, Miranda and Six can escape. He also tells Miranda about killing his father there since he had abused him and his brother in the following scene. Once they arrive in Croatia, the two launch an all-out assault on Hansen and his thugs. Six can save Fitzroy and Claire when more assassins are eliminated. However, in the scene proceeding with this, Fitzroy gets shot somewhere below his heart which makes him bleed quite profusely, as he then is unable to even walk. So Fitzroy decides to stay behind when they leave to offer Six and Claire a better chance of escaping. 
Claire laments the loss of her uncle as he blows himself and many other assassins up with a grenade. Wolf and Miranda are fighting, and they are on the verge of killing each other when Wolf simply gives her the chip and declares that he will no longer work for dishonest people like Hanson. After catching up to Six and Claire, Hanson kidnaps Claire. Six pursues him through a maze of hedges until they arrive at a fountain. Six puts down his weapon so Hanson can release Claire. Six orders her to run so she can be safe despite her objections. The two men engage in combat in the fountain, with Hanson nearly winning the battle before Six was able to overcome him. Brewer, who has always had her own goal, kills Hanson before Six can kill him himself. Additionally, she shoots Styx and warns him that Hanson will be blamed for the entire chain of events and portrayed as a dishonest rogue agent. She also intimidates Claire to control Six. To prevent any repercussions, Carmichael destroys the chip before he and Brewer meet with their superiors to brush the situation under the rug. They try to coerce Six and Miranda into cooperating with their cover-up, but when they discover that Six has fled their captivity, they are both taken aback. It can additionally be seen that armed personnel is presently securing Claire in a hidden place in the next scene. Six then greets her when she hears gunfire and hugs her. He then rescues Claire from the safe house and runs away with her, denoting that he has saved her after all, and he might just be able to keep his promise of protecting Claire that he made to Fitzroy, right before he passed away. Six can be regarded as a free man now that the CIA is no longer controlling him and he has avoided spending more time in jail. Nobody knows where Six goes after saving Claire, but one thing is certain, Carmichael will be eager to apprehend or eliminate Six before the former agent divulges information about his murderous scheme to eliminate the agents of the Grey Man program. Therefore, even though Six may be free at the moment, the CIA may not be free of him for good. So what does the movie stand for? An ordinary individual who blends into the background and makes no attempt to stand out from the throng is referred to as a Grey Man. When used in military contexts, such as for Sierra Six in the movie, it refers to someone who consistently completes their task before quietly leaving. A skill of being a grey guy, according to the imminent threat solutions, is to be ordinary in every situation. There must be no vivid colors or catchy slogans in the clothing, and must be neutral. Mannerisms should be subtle and tiny, without sweeping motions or obvious vigor. Movements should mimic the speed at which people typically move, their gestures and the volume and speed at which they communicate. In the end, being a grey man is the art of blending inconspicuously amongst various societies and cultures, so that no one would later recognize or remember them. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.